The First Alert Storm Team has been updating us on the risk for severe weather tomorrow night. Meteorologist Caroline Carruthers spoke with the National Weather Service in Mobile about how you should prepare. Well, we are officially entering our spring severe weather season and with hurricane season approaching as well, preparing as much as possible right now can help relieve some stress during an actual event. The first step is making sure you have multiple ways to get warnings. A cell phone will work, but also have a backup such as a weather radio. But also have a plan on what you will do if a warning is issued. And that plan includes getting to a safe place. Uh, interior room, uh, lowest floor, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible during a tornado situation. If you live in a mobile home, it is best to locate a sturdy shelter that you can get to if needed. If you can't identify one, perhaps making plans with friends and family of someplace safe to be would be the best uh, thing to do. Next, you need to have the correct supplies. Making sure you have things to protect you in the moment and things to help you after the storm as well, especially if you have significant damage. Some items to have in your emergency kit include a first aid kit, a whistle, a flashlight, extra batteries, cash and credit cards, a weather radio, an extra cell phone charger, a three day supply of water and non perishable food, extra clothes and shoes, a helmet and prescription medicine. It is also important to remember to not rely on outdoor sirens as a primary way to receive warnings. Sirens are a great tool and a great awareness if you're outdoors and they serve a purpose. But that purpose is not to alert you indoors. Now this preparation is not only applicable to severe weather, it can also be carried into hurricane season. In Mobile, meteorologist Caroline Carruthers, WKRG News 5.